operate generators and distribution systems generator a ship is like a floating city with all the privileges enjoyed by any normal land city just like a conventional place the ship also requires all the basic amenities to sustain life on board the chief among them is power or electricity shipboard power is generated using a prime mover and an alternator working together an alternating current generator is used on board the generator consists of a stationary set of conductors wounded in coils on an iron core this is known as the stator as shown the rotor is located between the stator the alternator is connected to an auxiliary engine electro generators work on the principle of electromagnetic induction a conductor coil or a copper coil tightly wound onto a metal core is rotated rapidly between the poles of a horseshoe type magnet when the coil rotates it cuts the magnetic field which lies between the two poles of the magnet the magnetic field will interfere with the electrons in the conductor to induce a flow of electric current inside it this is how electricity is generated the rotor shaft is attached with slippers the stator surrounds the rotor and is attached to the three sets of copper wire coils or three phase bindings there are three sets because a generator is a three phase generator the arrangement can be of two or more than two electromagnets more the number of poles more the current produced many ships are equipped with shaft generators where the rotations of the main engine of the ship is used to operate the alternator and generate additional electricity as main engine speed rises as per the requirement of the ship a gearbox arrangement is provided to provide a constant speed to shaft alternator the power generated by these marine generators is transported to the main switchboard using bus bar The main switchboard is considered as a distribution hub of the ship's electrical system taking power from the generator and distributing it to the power consumer spread all over the ship A part of the main switchboard is provided with a 220 volt supply via a step down transformer It includes bridge equipment navigation lights radio communication equipment extra